All right, welcome back, and we are in Lightroom Classic today, and it's been a while since I have made a video for Lightroom. So today what we're gonna be taking a look at is a luminosity slider. And this is very similar if you've ever used the If Then Blender in Photoshop. Now what this will allow you to do is make an adjustment in your image and then apply it to a certain area of the image. And what this kind of allows you to do is get a little bit smoother gradations than if you were just using the brush over here and trying to paint it into a specific area. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and I'll show you how to use the luminosity slider inside of Adobe Lightroom Classic. All right, so we have this image here and let's just assume that it's a little flat. We wanna add a little pop to the shadows and highlights of this image. Now what we could do is come over here and grab our brush to make some selective adjustments. And so we wanted to darken some shadows so we would just make a little darkening adjustment. I would reduce my brush size and then I could just simply go in to anywhere where I see a shadow just kind of paint over it to darken that very specific area. Now, once I start doing it, I really have to reduce the size of my brush because I need to spend all this time analyzing and finding the shadow areas or the areas that I want to darken, which might be just this dark area, and painting over them. And that can take a long time, so we're not going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and undo that. So I'm going to hit reset right here. And we're gonna grab the brush and this time I'm going to double click effect that's gonna set everything at zero. And what we're gonna do first is we're going to darken these shadow areas and I'm just gonna dial in something. We can adjust this later because right now we haven't applied it anywhere. Remember when you're making a selective adjustment, you have to apply it to see it. So all I've done right now is kind of guess what I want. So I'm gonna make this brush a lot bigger because we're gonna paint it into this whole area here. So now that we've got that, we're just gonna come in here and we're just applying it by brushing it in to this whole area. You can see, so what I've done is I've made my shadows darker. So I've taken my shadows and I'm darkening them down. And let's say I want to make my blacks just a little darker and not have so much of a jump there. So we're getting that nice pop of contrast. Now, Remember, I just want to apply this to the darker areas. I don't want to apply this to my highlight areas and darken that because it's not going to give me the same effect. Now, before we were having to go in and just paint that into a specific area, but right down here, we have something called a range mask and it's off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this to luminance. Luminance just means light. And so we can turn this on to kind of show the areas that it's affecting if you want to see that. But for right now, we're gonna turn this off. I'll turn it on and off in a second here. By doing this, we have our highlights here and our shadows here. And so if I don't want it to be applied to the highlights, I can take this slider and I can slide it this way. So now from the midtones to the shadows is the only area that this adjustment is taking effect. So I can click this on and off. So this is off and that's on. So that's what that adjustment looks like now. Let's turn on this slider. So the slider in the red is showing you the areas that it's affecting. So as I adjust this, it's gonna be removing it from certain areas, or if I increasing it, it's going to be increasing it. So what I'm allowing to do is just affect the shadow areas and not the highlight areas of our image. Just like that, we've added some depth to our image. Now we're gonna do the complete opposite. So we're gonna come up here to new, click that, we're going to double click shadows to put it back where it was and blacks is good. And then what we're going to do is increase our highlights. So we'll just take our highlights up and we'll take our exposure up. Remember, this is a guess at this point, just like before, we're going to come in here and we're going to apply that all over this image. Cool. And then we're going to come down here to the luminance range mask. And this time we're gonna do the opposite. So we're going to take the range here and the shadows and take this this way because we want it only to be in the highlights. 
We also have a smoothness and this allows you to kind of isolate or change or blend how the transition is gonna be. We can turn on that luminosity mask and see now it's the opposite. Now the red is in the highlight areas, not the shadows. And we can turn this on and off and see what that's doing. Now, if I think it's too much, I can come in here and adjust these values. So right over here, this edge and right down here, it might be a little bit strong. So if I wanna take that out, I can just hold my Alt or Option key, which is gonna give me a minus and I can adjust my brush if I want. And I can apply it out of this area. Cause remember, it's just an adjustment brush. So I can darken those edges back down, maybe where I don't want it to be applied. Or if I didn't want it to apply to the water or somewhere like that. So let's take a look and see what this little luminosity slider adjustment looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done and then I'm gonna come over here and do Y. And so this is showing us our before view and this is our after view. And so you can see that we've got a whole lot more contrast and pop in this image. Now it's getting really dark in here. So I could take some of that out if I didn't want that much. So if I don't like the density of this area, and I could have painted it out when I made that adjustment, I can go ahead and just go back here and we can go back into our selective adjustments. And then I could just bring this back out so we can hit new and I can set everything back to default and we can just open up the shadows. And then I can just open up this one little simple area because I'm saying, hey, I don't want this to get too dark and too dominant, but I do want to increase the contrast here and then you can go on and make the rest of your adjustments so i can hit new and let's say i just want to increase the saturation of this so i just get a little bit more color vibrance in it so i can grab that and we can just go in here and it looks like we've got this still set somewhere which i don't want so we'll just dial that out and we can come in here and just add a little bit of color actually i'm going to take the color out of this section i don't want it in here because it will pick up some of the blues in the image so we'll just take that out of that location. And now we've increased the color and I'll just increase it more so you can see what we're doing. We're, we're just increasing that color saturation a little bit. And so that's how you use the luminosity slider. So let's take a look at a different image. So an image like this, it's a very flat image. We have flat white. So we might wanna make this a little more dramatic. So just like before, I could grab my adjustment brush and I could dial in an effect. So in this case, let's say we're gonna go ahead and just make the exposure and the highlight a little bit brighter and we'll make this smaller. And then I could go into my highlights and I could paint this into the different icebergs. But when you do that, it's gonna usually be somewhat of a harsh transition. Now we could lower the flow so we're not painting the full effect in and have more control over how much of an area we painted into. But if you look at the iceberg, there's a lot of texture, there's a lot of highlight and shadow. It would just take a long time and not be worth the effort of painting this into specific areas here. It's just way too difficult. So let's go ahead and reset that. We're gonna do the same thing over again. So we'll click reset on effect and reset everything back here. We've got our brush. And what do we wanna do? We wanna increase the highlights. So we're gonna increase the highlights. We'll do the exposure a little bit. And then we're simply just gonna come in here and paint this everywhere that we see. We're just gonna go through this whole area and apply this. And I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger just to make sure that I've got every little area in this. Cause sometimes it can be difficult to tell what you've got and what you haven't got. And cool, so now I can come in here and I can adjust this. I don't wanna make it too hot so I blow out the highlights, but I do want to brighten everything else. We'll come down here once again, go to range mask, luminance, and we are going to take this out of the shadows. So we're gonna take our shadows and dial that adjustment out. So it's just happening in our highlights. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, we've got some nice pop going on there. So that was a big adjustment for our highlight areas by making that adjustment. Now let's do the opposite. So we're gonna come up here, click new. We're going to hold alt option, click reset. And then we're going to take our shadows down a little bit and maybe our blacks a little bit. And then we're gonna come and paint all that in to every one of these areas. We're just increasing that density of the shadow areas. And if I want this to be stronger now, I can come in here and, and darken that. You can see how much control 
over that aspect of the image that I have. And that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna come down here to luminance range mask and we're gonna take this out of the highlights by going this way. In this case, I just wanna affect the shadow areas. In this case, I'm also going to take a little this out of some of the water. So I'm gonna say, hey, I don't want that into a specific area. I'm gonna hold my Alt Option key that subtracts and I can simply paint anything out here just to make sure I don't have that. And you need to control your brush size because it can affect other areas. And controlling your brush size is really key to making selections or adjustments. You do need to constantly do it. It's very easy to do in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and hit done. And just by using the luminosity sliders, we can make a huge difference in this image. Now this doesn't mean that I still might not need to use some of the other adjustments, but look at it before and look at it after. It's a completely different image and it's really, really easy to make these adjustments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.